Hi, I'm Maurice Ostro from the Leadership Development Network, YPO. We're here in Davos and we are so delighted. Claire, thank you for joining us and talking to us about what is the biggest agenda item at the moment in Davos and probably for the world, the climate. And for our CEOs, tell us one of the things that we need to be thinking about, this is from the business perspective, what companies, what CEOs of companies ought to be thinking about and doing around the climate. Thank you very much, and thanks for inviting me. It's great. My first time, snow boots and all. Um, so for, two, for what we've had for many years now is the private sector, the corporate sector, increasingly focusing on this issue, thinking about what it means for corporate risk, corporate returns, corporate performance, and in many cases making really ambitious pledges and commitments. But we've had a twin track where that action is sitting alongside what governments are doing in terms of their negotiations and their pledges. And the time is now to put this all together into one everybody's in alliance when it comes to climate. So this year's Conference of the Parties will be, as always, an amazing convening event where mm. we have 197 countries represented, dozens, hundreds of, 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 country, of companies, financial sectors, city-states, and for the first time we'll, we, we will be pushing forward in a grand alliance focused on a couple of things. The first is, and this is a sort of message to the CEOs, Set your net zero targets. I was mm. the minister that brought in the first industrialised country net zero legislation in the UK. It really works as a policy and planning paradigm. Secondly, work out how you're going to get there. So don't just tell us what your emissions will be in 2030. Say what they're going to be in 2021. Thirdly, we will help you aggregate and amplify that. We're working to build a global platform, open source, where all companies can report their plans and we can see what does this add up to, all of this ambition we don't yet know. And fourthly, think about how that runs through your entire business. So first of all, look at yourself in your sector. You might be a top quartile company, but there'll be plenty of laggards out there. And I think this operate this opportunity mm. now to both cooperate as well as compete in pulling forward this decarbonisation. And then think about what you're doing with your supply chain and your customers. What are the opportunities to provide pressure out there, positive pressure to be sourcing renewable energy, to be uh, sourcing different forms of, of inputs? You know, what's the plan for low carbon steel? Imagine if we could have all the auto manufacturers saying that we're going to buy low carbon steel, which only adds about five pounds to the cost of a car, it's been calculated. So the immense power of supply, supply chains and distribution channels that you control in your boardrooms is absolutely huge. And this 2020 people talk about as the super year for climate for many of our goals. This is the year the curve needs to inflect. We're out of time. We know we can do this. We all need to do it together. Everybody's in. And I think the ambition of the corporate sector helps raise the ambition for the world. Well, you are hugely ambitious. We want to be, I think, our 29,000 CEOs around the world really need to play a part of this. And within the YPO, our strategy of reaching out to the world and thinking about our impact plays exactly into this picture. I think we, I can fly the flag for England, not just for climate, because you've been an amazing champion for climate. I hope we will be in this conference a, a great success. Um, and we should make sure that our colleagues around the world take that message home, think about their businesses, and get involved, because the climate can't be done by any country, any individual company. It takes all of us to do it. So Absolutely. thank you very much. See you in and Glasgow. Thank you for your See you in Glasgow. Thank you.